it is bright and early and today is the first day I went to take my test for the surgery and apparently I supposed to take this last week but then the doctor decided not to show it up so we have to schedule it this week which they need to do a brush lab test because the surgery is in seven days and it usually takes seven days for the lab to be done so we're kind of cutting it close for the other lab test so we have to be up early this morning at like seven o'clock in the morning drive to hollywood for the nine o'clock appointment getting touch all over getting 15 tube of blood for like the lab test for the surgery and now we have to rush back because what's this car doing Now we're to rush back to the house. Now we're at Jack in the Box to grab something quick to eat because I have another appointment with the doctor, the surgeon, at two o'clock. And we have an 11 o'clock meeting with the plumber to fix piping at the house. So it's gonna be a long night. Drink. It's currently 8 a.m. and we have to head out to do my COVID testing before the surgery. So they require seven days or three days before the surgery. So we we'll have to get up early to get it done. So they can go to the lab and get it all to the doctor office. Okay, I'm ready. Keep on wallet. This is gonna be my first time getting a COVID test day. Usually they don't ask for you to do the COVID test if you like to elective surgery because it's way that a pandemic. I guess we have to do it and the way they ask is you have to either depend where you get your get your surgery from. They ask you either three days have to be done three days before the surgery day or seven days before the surgery day so double check on that also yeah so just make sure you book it right before because I'm not sure how fast the lab depends on which test you take this might take like 24 hours or it might take like four or five days so they was asking for it to be like really tight to like the surgery day so my surgery day was in like five days seven days today it's like the earliest day i can get it done so the lab can get it done and since it's uh, during the new year also so it's kind of hard to ask to have anything open or have any of the labs open for testing to be done on time so cutting it close to testing we're watching over jump uh, testing last night and I asked Andre if we want to go get tested also but they know so rude they want to have a stick shut up isn't it Apparently this clinic is at the mall, so we're like the first one at the shopping mall. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't 
been at the mall for so long. It's the last time we were at the mall. Last time we went out shopping anywhere was like October, I think October. Yeah. Ooh, this is what I I just have to like um, so usually the stick is like really long and now it's like half that size because they apparently they find out you don't have to really like poke it down that hard up to your brain to find out if you have COVID or not so this one you just have like a swipe like and swipe around my nose for like 10 seconds like one on each side and like oh that's it She's like oh yeah that's it I was like expecting the worst so it was like really pleasant experience this one is the PCR test and this is the accurate uh, the most accurate test one it's like the all original like you have to dip all, all the way to your brain but this time I guess they find out you don't have to do that so and I was trying to like film it I asked her like can I just film it she's like no I'm like, okay <laughs> and she's like oh you can always recreate at home I'm like, I don't want to recreate at home what am I doing here so that's why I couldn't like record while was, she was doing it. I was going to, but I guess it was not that dramatic. I was expecting to be like choke and gag, but I guess you don't have to. She don't have to like swipe my throat or anything. It's just like the like, halfway my nose. It's not like all the way up there as it, as bad as it looks. So it was really nice experience. So throughout the whole testing for the surgery, I was like dreading having the COVID test. The, worse but I guess it was like the easiest to get tests so yeah so now we just have to wait for the result in the next two maybe three days and then the surgery is in five days seven days yeah. and Andre was standing outside getting coffee and what's this place called coffee bean have coffee bean <laughs> haven't have coffee for like years and this is like the best coffee I ever had. 
Which coffee do you get? Cookie butter. Yeah, this is so good. Mm. Smell good too. So today is the day before the surgery. The surgery is supposed to be tomorrow, which is January 7th. And we're just, um, just sitting here going through all the paperwork. And because I have to send in all the, make sure that the clinic and the hospital and all my primary doctor have to send in all the information with the blood tests and all the tests required. Also the COVID test that was to be done three or seven at least three or seven days before the surgery so which having to make sure everybody send in the paperwork to the doctor so the surgery place can like approve and have me come in tomorrow so we kind of like last minute push to have everybody to send in their paperwork for like do it like now because the surgery is at six o'clock in the morning tomorrow and now the surgery place call and say, oh, do you know your surgery was actually scheduled for July? I was like, what? No. Hell no. And then they have to like call back and then they call the doctor and then they have to verify everything again. So they just call back and confirm like it was the mistake that um, say July because I guess they seen the date a little more different. She just thought it was like July, so it was like freaked out for a minute and I called the doctor and everybody like why is it scheduled for July? So now they actually kind of like fix it. <sighs> so yeah, so now I have to call the pharmacy and make sure all my um, antibiotics, painkillers, cream, and whatever the doctor prescribed is uh, filled. For me to have that by tomorrow and everything gonna be delivered to me tomorrow and is that it oh yeah i think that's it and today is like i have to wash my hair right now because uh, i'm probably not gonna be able to wash my hair for the next week we can have possible two weeks i just wash my hair just in case so yeah so today we're just gonna go ahead and rest at home get a few things done, clean up the house a little bit because Andre don't really clean the house. So I'm gonna organize stuff a little bit, relax today. And of course, can't eat a lot of stuff today because the surgery is in the morning and I can't eat anything before midnight and all that jazz. So I'll see you on surgery day. Good morning. So it's currently six o'clock in the morning and we just woke up, I just got out the shower to get ready for to head to the surgery area to get my surgery today i have to be there at like 6 45 so we have about 40 minutes to get there so andre is in the shower right now so now i'm just getting dressed so i can't wear anything like too tight i'll go over my hands so i'm just wearing like sweats and i'm just gonna put on like the sweat jackets on so now we're just getting ready to go to do my surgery right now and I can't drink any water so I'm like really thirsty also I don't have any moisturizer on either because I can't have any moisturizer during surgery because I need to put like tape on top so yeah so now we're just gonna go ahead and wait for Andre to get out of the shower and head to the surgery place surgical place and they're gonna walk me up to the reception for me to check in just in case I need anything else and then he's gonna go home and then I'm gonna go 
can, can get plugged into all the wire and all the whatever IV that they start and the surgery is going to be about three to four hours so we'll be done by noon so I'll be home for lunch quick and easy so after I go home it's still a work day so after I still have to have meetings at home and then they're gonna call Andre and come pick me up and then I'll be done so we are here at the surgical place we're like one of the first people here in the garage or something but technically people still haven't here yet we decide to have matching outfit the Andre decided to copy my outfit today Stop me. No. I'm not quite sure what it means, but I'm getting the feeling things are not what they seem. Yeah, I can tell from my feet there's a different beat. Something's moving in me. Get ready, cause here it comes. Did you feel the ground move? If you're running with me, better be ready for me. Just got to the surgical place in here. It's Andre still half asleep. So we have our own ensuite. <laughs> Six hours later. So we just got out of uh, my surgery. I'm still a little bit more trousery right now, but we're gonna get dressed now, and I'm sure gonna get help me getting dressed. When I'm feeling down or blue, the only thing I have to do is take a breath and think of you, and everything's alright. They can keep. The seven seas, they can have their wildest dreams. I would give up everything so right until now, the end of, end of time. End of time. You're all mine. And I love it. Up, so it's not drowsy as much and here is the doctor so this is going to be dr hyman that did my surgery so we today surgery we did um revision rhinoplasty also a little bit more buccal fat removal and i so far kind of love the buccal fat removal so if you're interested in getting rhinoplasty buccal fat removal anything facial this is dr hyman so it's going to be my uh, I'm just like more drowsy, okay? okay. Your doctor, I'll be your doctor. That's <laughs> He's gonna be my doctor for the past few years to fix up from head to toe. Yeah. Okay. So, Dr. Hyman. So, I'm gonna leave the, doc the link to Dr. Hyman on, on my comments right down below. So, if you have any questions, you can also contact Dr. Hyman. He's placed in, let's see, mm -hmm. Century City? Encino. 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 Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah. So. So in a week we're gonna go ahead and remove the cast and we're gonna to to do see removing the cast also. So yeah. Everything went excellent. It's gonna be great. Uh, you did excellent. He was shy and he wanted to do a few push up before the recording, <laughs> but it was perfect. So. That's right. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right guys. Now when I walk down the street, people keep asking me what tomorrow will bring. Oops, uh, Oh, 
finish with the surgery and I was be riding dirty down the back of my surgery was at 7 30 to go into surgery you don't hear that to surgery and then the anesthesia is a little bit more late because of paperwork so they have to call another anesthesia and it came in slightly more late so which is good so uh our schedule got pushed back a little bit but it's all good so we are done Yeah, or what? That's why my features look smaller. Why do I look like my ears look smaller? I know he took skin graft on my ears. Your right. My right ear. Otherwise, my left ear looks smaller. Maybe his right eye is smaller. Otherwise, my lip looks smaller. You could fat look good though. Ooh. That's my lip looks smaller. Cause sometimes when you go into surgery and all those like antibiotic and all those things that they like kinda like plump into you, sometimes it's kinda like clear out my your uh, fillers and all the stuff so hopefully my lip doesn't get smaller but looking in the mirror my ear looks small 